Welcome in everyone, how you guys doing? If you guys are inside, hit that subscribe, like, share. Thank you for tuning in. Also, check me out on Patreon. Follow me up on social media as well too, and let's get straight into this reaction. Um, we got my girl here, Tisa Tells, with some more juicy, juicy inside info. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what she got to say. Um, J-Lo Crumbling tries to reconnect with Arod right, with deep resentment. Arod won't take her back. Was her husband before? And now she's, I think she got married to Ben Affleck. And I hear they're having some problems at the moment, if I'm correct. Um, something like that. Let's go. If you are Jennifer Lopez, it looks like you bet on the wrong horse. Y'all, what am I talking about? While her marriage okay. crumbles to Ben, Jen has oh, been no. scrambling. Okay. She doesn't know what to do. People saying she feels humiliated. She feels betrayed. We have more information on why Ben is actually pulling the plug, and it might have something to do with what his doctor said, but that's a different video. Jen feels humiliated. She, Jen does the thing she wants to do best. What is that? Whenever to get over someone, sometimes she gets under someone, baby, get it how you live it. However, Jen loves to circle the block. And many oh, people no. are saying that while she Jenny is from the block, she likes to circle she the block. Really no. Wants that old thing back. They're saying J Lo wants to be friends again with A Rod. She wants that old thing back. Unfortunately, the new, and this is after she found out that Michael Bloomberg agrees to join Mark and Alec Rodriguez's ownership group. They, he literally now owes part of the Mets. He's doing all this stuff. Let's not forget Alex Rodriguez is the one that invested in J-Lo Beauty. He's the one that did the concept, well, helped her with the concept for Delola Liquor, all this stuff. He got her to perform at the inauguration. He got her the Super Bowl uh, performance. Alex Rodriguez, even though he was a cheater, poured into um, Jennifer. Unlike Ben, who only takes from her and only makes a fool of her okay okay, um, okay. he's even right. michael bloomberg is joining rodriguez and his business partner so uh, now she wants to get back to get over ben so i heard like um, Mark stuff Bo was going on with um, ben like it was you know i didn't know it was that bad like j-lo man love j-lo but damn girl you got a bad track record you know what i'm saying like J Lo from round the block. <laughs> Floor and yeah. Alex Rodriguez. He's even part owner of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Listen, he's about to make a big come up. J Lo sees that. She wants part of the shine, and she thinks being on Alex's arm again will completely silence any of the naysayers, the criticism, or even the people just laughing at what happened with her and Ben. Mm. However, According to In Touch, they said Alex Rodriguez is loving the Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck marriage drama. He has resentment toward her. Now, before we get into that, let me tell you what I think this resentment is. Now, here's the thing. I can't really blame J-Lo for leaving Alex Rodriguez. By mm. all reports, it looked like he was cheating on her and cheating on her with D-list reality stars while they're in the house in the pandemic and doing all this stuff. <laughs> But I will say this, okay, Alex Rodriguez okay. never said J-Lo was too much. They had shared culture. He celebrated her. He wanted her to be bigger and bigger and bigger. On top of that, Alex Rodriguez was super tight to J-Lo's kids. And, so, and J-Lo was saying she loved this girls and being super mom and super mm. tight. Even though Alex was cheating, and I understand that. The way J-Lo not only ghosted Alex, but ghosted his girls too. Mm. J-Lo cut off all contact with those girls. They had lived together during the pandemic. J-Lo's kids and A-Rod's and daughters were super tight. She cut all contact off. I think at one point they said the only contact they ever had is she either posted happy birthday on social media or sent them an email saying happy birthday and that's it and that was somebody telling you acting like they was like your mom and no, i love you and family not even the to kids the point of contact, when man, alex yeah. broke up well when j-lo broke up with alex j-lo's kids were begging her according to reports to get back with alex i'm not saying she should have gotten back because no one deserves to be cheated to on keep in contact with i am you know saying I mean? look at that and look at the difference of the way ben affleck treats jen Look at the way even Ben Affleck treats Jen's kids. Now, I know Jen put that happy birthday, happy Father's Day post, but you got to remember, even when they all the stuff about Ben, um, 
divorcing, all he's talking about is what's right for his children. Mm. J Lo is still showing up <clears throat> at recitals, being she there a bad with boy. Samuel, doing this, doing that. That sounded anyway, so wrong. Anyway, get this. Did I just say that she won a bad boy? You know. Uh, <laughs> no, did he? J Lo, seriously, your resume is looking kind of worn out right now, B. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. Everybody after Ben Affleck was you just getting over him, but you never really did get over him because you straight back with him. And now look again. And we're going to have a whole other deja vu with your antics and everything afterwards, you know? Like, yo, let's go, man. Let's go. Alex Rodriguez was left in pieces when J-Lo dumped him like a hot potato for Ben Affleck. So he's understandably getting a thrill over the fact that they've now crashed and burned in less than two years. And remember when Alex was begging J-Lo to come back? Again, he cheated, though. And I'm sure that shows you're just a big cheater. Alex fell apart when J-Lo ran off with Ben. He felt like she tossed him out with the trash when she got a better offer from Ben, and it did a huge number on him. He went from planning a wedding to watching her marry someone else in what felt like the blink of an eye. It was the worst year of his life, and to make things ten times worse, J-Lo didn't have an ounce of empathy for him. She flaunted her romance with Ben every chance she got. She also mm. cut off his girls. Now, well, J-Lo and well A-Rod began know? dating in the like. beginning of 2017, got engaged two years later. However, by April 2021, they called off the engagement. She was photographed spending time with Ben shortly after the news of the breakup was confirmed. I will say also this about Ben, and y'all know I don't got nothing nice to say about Ben. Jen doesn't even realize the ego move that Ben did. Because it wasn't just about being with J-Lo. It was about taking Alex Rodriguez's girl. Mm. Um, the bidder for reunion was years in the making as the two had previously been engaged in early 2000s. Ben dumped her for the same reasons, got sick of her, used every excuse. He felt embarrassed by Jen. Um, they tied the night in July. So he left she left alex april 2021 she got mm. married to ben just just a year later mind you ben tried to call off the wedding but she ended up eloping with him in vegas oh and then he got oh. an attitude during oh. the honeymoon and left early oh mm. oh so she's the one really chasing after him girl that's what i said you never got over this guy this was the one guy that got you cuckoo you know what i mean like <laughs> however in Touch Exclusive reported that in May, the couple was headed for a divorce with the Oscar winner having already moved out of their shared home. Now, I reported at first that they were headed for a divorce, but who cares, right? <laughs> in Touch did leak that he had moved out of the house. To see Jen getting some of the karma for her actions is pretty sweet. Even if A-Rod wouldn't admit that publicly, mm -hmm. his friends all know he's been waiting for things with her and Ben to crash and burn. The former professional baseball star has moved on to Jacqueline Cordero. He's probably cheating on her, too, whom he started dating in October 2022. The insider says he's beyond happy in his new relationship mm. and doesn't want J-Lo back. Do you believe that? I believe that he has a huge ego and he'll never take her back. Mm. But I don't know about him not wanting J-Lo back. I actually think that he really, really liked J-Lo. Mm. But, but he feels like he dodged a bullet by not marrying J-Lo. Serious that doesn't bullet. mean he's not going to enjoy Serious watching bullet. this train wreck. He still harbors a lot good to dodge of a bullet, towards you know? J-Lo and feels more than justified in it. Mm. Since reports of trouble in Ben and Jen's marriage for a surface, the two have been putting on a united front publicly. However, their outings together have all been at events for their children. No, strike that, for Ben's children. I haven't seen him do, go anywhere with her J, J Lo's kids. Ben was not by Jen's side at the Met Gala or the premiere for her hmm. movie Atlas in May. You guys, yeah. listen. Yo. What y'all think about this? I will say one thing. Like I do um, honestly feel like I understand what A Rod's feeling. Even though A Rod, the reason she left you is because you can't keep your rod where it belongs. But this is it. She but wanted a bad boy. People she got that one. Poured into you. I look like outside of the cheating, of course. And I know you can't separate that because that's why JLo left. That's the way a man that loves you and cares about you, that's what they do. They invest in you. They actually like the way you are. You're not too much. You're not flamboyant. You're never embarrassed. 
after her Super Bowl performance in that J-Lo documentary about the Super Bowl, A-Rod stood by her side proudly. Mm -hmm. Said, this is my woman. Y'all can talk all y'all want. That's the type of man anybody needs. It doesn't matter what everybody else thinks you are. The persons with you should be like thankful that they get mm -hmm. to walk on the ground that you walk. That's mm -hmm. real love. And Ben, like we've been saying a lot, has never felt that way about J-Lo. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Yo, that's deep. Bye. She got a bad boy in the end, you know what I'm saying? Raw. I only show no female too, because you know, you don't know. It could be PTSD, it could be stuff from a past as a kid growing up looking for that kind of a love you don't know but at the same time you know when history repeats itself so many fucking times over and over and over again it's like come on now come on now come on now yeah i put the link to the original um this video here in the description um thank you guys for tuning in and i'll see you guys on the next one take care be safe out there yeah bless